So this is my video log on uh, animating to music, uh, just explaining my thoughts and feelings and process on making this. Um, the task was to animate to music. Uh, we had to choose our own music, anything we wanted to, and animate to it. So I'm going to play it now. I'm going to play it now and then talk about it afterwards. So, with this task, um, I was really excited because of the freedom of choosing whatever you wanted to animate to, and the range that you could that you have to animate to is phenomenal. And things that you could think to animate, uh, animate to it, or think, things you could do for certain songs, uh, different genres like rock, um, hip hop. Uh, classical, whatever, there's a lot of range and stuff to experiment, so I was really cautious to what I chose, to what I chose, um, and some, some of them, for example, the song that I chose, this, this one, uh, I was quite curious to what would you animate, if you were to, to animate this music, animate to the music, what would you include with it, and how would you do it? So I had the choice of I finally narrowed down to three songs which was this one which is Song of Time and Song of Storms by Taylor Davis and another one from Taylor Davis which is the Jacobo theme and the other one which was another classical song which was um, Lindsay Sterling, Lord of the Rings medley. Um, I didn't ruled out Lord of the Rings because I thought it would have ended up being really um, character driven, character based, which for experimental isn't a good thing really. And it's probably quite a generic theme that people would probably use. So in the end, with me thinking about what I could do for Summer Time and Summer Storms, um, Oh, I went with that one because I was quite curious to say what, what would I animate for this. Um, the song is from is a cover by Taylor Davis uh, from the video game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, two songs from it, Song of Time and Song of Storms, uh, mixed together in one orchestral track. Um, for it, the difficult part was the thinking about what to put in it, the first thought I had was the beginning bit because was the beginning because if you listen to the uh, pluck of the violins string the violin string to me it does sound like water droplets and I think that was the idea that the artist was going for. Um, so I decided to animate water droplets uh, because I would like to know how to animate water droplets and the splash of when water hits and so I decided to go with that idea and continue with that for the beginning. Uh, I used the frames from the book, the timing frame, the book, <coughs> Timing for Animation by Harold Whitaker 
and John Hallis. Um, really good book, and it showed you all the frames to curate the splash of the water. Some of them, because of time, I did skip them and didn't do those nine frames in total. Some of them I would do frame one, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine kind of thing and skip a few because short time that it did take a very very long time to animate the water droplets um, and then after that uh, I originally thought I want to colour them in so as you see I've decided to colour them in loads of different colours which has a really nice effect and it looks to me quite quite beautiful piece of animation really looking at all these different colours and the kind of liquid and and kind of that kind of idea of uh, taking away from uh, transparent liquid as we used to with water um, and using the generic colour of blue for water as well and mixing it up and changing it um, another one was mainly to put in it was stuff from the video game so here we have the Triforce and the colours of the Triforce which is green, blue and red um, so I chose to do stuff like that so here's the Triforce again with different colours the colours do represent um, represent there is symbolism for them red evil wisdom and courage um so blue's courage so blue's wisdom and green is courage uh and also things such as um spiritual stones from the game to be from the game being the same colour as the triforce and being late uh, kind of laid out in a triforce and a triangle shape. Uh, with this, I did experiment with uh, sizes, so you know, smaller ones, bigger ones, and just, just experimented really and see what I could put in there and see how I can keep the audience interested in it, which is something I think I quite like as an audience. What would interest me really for this, for this animation uh, and then going on to using the uh, symbols of the sages here and then try for the middle um, and using kind of the idea of having some storms with lightning bolts in a storm uh, lightning bolts in a storm being in the animation as well um, so there were things mainly that I went with as I said is from the game itself and um, taken from that and putting it right in the animation uh, this is heavily influenced on uh, the optical poem by Otto Fischinger Fischinger um, that's how you pronounce it and um, a kind of notes being played, this one's the best of